Today I'm gonna to review the Sharpo All-in-One Sharpening Kit. Now this is what it comes like in the box. And when I got it, I was actually kind of surprised at how small it appears. Um, so I did wanna go ahead and see how it actually works. So I'm not just gonna show you the box or anything like that. So I will cover sharpening a couple of different tools. I've got some scissors that I use with my fishing. So I'm gonna use that to sharpen it. And then I have some loppers also that I'm gonna use and try and sharpen it with this as well. I recently purchased this. We um, are need to sharpen up a bunch of our tools. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this specific one as it's got a lot of different um, spots. So you can sharpen all sorts of different um, tools. So let's go ahead and hop into sharpening. So inside the box, there's just a little user manual and then that is the product itself inside of a little bag. I'll go ahead and open it up and then we'll get going. Now on the instructions, it does give you specific directions on which one of these things you're going to use for the variety of different tools that you might be using it. But also, it's kind of hard to see here with the light that I've got in the barn. There you go, you can see it. So you can see that you're gonna be using this front part on any pruning shears. For scissors, you're gonna be using this one up here. So it does have little pictures on it as well, which is super helpful if you're not exactly sure you know, what you're supposed to be sharpening. It does have all sorts of different pictures. There's one right there on the front as well. So you can see that's like for an ax or something like that. So that is helpful if you do, you don't have to, you know, keep the instructions around to know which one of these is for what. Having the instructions on what um, you're supposed to be using, like you can see this is for knife up here or this is for the pruning tools or whatever. So that's helpful. I'll go ahead and sharpen it up. So I'm going to be sharpening this pair of cheap scissors before. Let me just show you real fast how it cuts. Now this is obviously not with me um, holding the paper or anything. But as you can see, it does cut paper just fine um, but I've used it to cut things for fishing I just keep it in my tackle box and pretty dull for anything beyond just paper now I'll go ahead and sharpen so to start sharpen the pair of scissors all you're literally going to do is you're going to hold your scissors like so and then you're going to take your tool and you're going to put it right down on this little uh, kind of whitish colored spot and you're just going to take it and run it down the blade now it does say you have it at an angle and you're just going to do that repeatedly until your scissors are sharpened now for sharpening a pair of loppers like these i have here in front of me it does recommend that you secure the loppers to something so if you have like a clamp of some sort that would probably be helpful so what you're going to do is you're going to want to hold it out as far as you can like that and then you're going to take the sharpener and you're going to put it on here like this on the blade and then you're going to move it across the front of the blade like so. So this is going to take some time. It's not something that's, you know, just a one second fix. However, this is especially helpful. Like mine has a bunch of like dents and dings in it just from cutting on limbs. So being able to do this on this one is going to take a little bit more time. However, I can actually see, it's gonna be hard to get in the video, but I can already see, yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Um, there's already some silver that's starting to show there at the top as it's going across and sharpening this lopper. So overall, this is a relatively decent tool if you're doing like a little bit of sharpening. If you are doing a lot, I would probably recommend something that's a little bit more sturdy, um, something that could maybe be mounted rather than just it being loose and you have to mount the tools. That could be difficult. Um, and I was considering, um, it says you could use this like to sharpen lawnmower blades, but truthfully, I don't think it has enough um, enough power that's not gonna be, get those blades sharp enough for actually cutting grass. Um, so obviously you traditionally you'll use like a grinder or something for that. For lawnmower blades, I'll probably continue to go that route just cause this tool is a bit smaller than what I was anticipated. But for small gardening tools like loppers or scissors or those sorts of things would certainly work well.